Hola Beach Buddy, ¿cómo está? Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Y tú? That wasn't bad, you know. My uh, my accent's decent, so. Anyway, Beach Buddy, what's up? Power ninety pilot dog coming at you live from Houston, Texas. Um, gotta be quick. Uh, gotta get ready to go. Actually, to go home. Uh, working, I love it when I get to work a flight back to Grand Rapids and have an overnight in Grand Rapids, uh, which I do, uh, tonight, tomorrow, and then, uh, you know, continue on with my trip Saturday and Sunday and back home on Sunday and, you know, and on and on and on. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, day two, uh, consistently back after, uh, recovering from a severe cold and a foot injury, um, at uh, cardio is uh, is definitely a butt kicker as if you haven't been doing it in a while so it was a little little bit of a struggle but I managed to keep up uh, had to uh, kind of switch up and exercise the uh, the cross hops um, which I'll demonstrate this is what the cross hop is supposed to be but uh, I kind of, this is my foot that I hurt, and that, uh, it actually kind of hurts, so kind of augmented it by doing this. Kind of a, a glide and slide back and forth uh, kind of an action, and uh, it, uh, it works out pretty well, so I don't know if I'll really ever get back to the cross hops, it just, uh, the way that I hurt my foot, um, with the what what it did is I hurt my left foot, the uh, uh, tendon in the toe that's next to the big toe, and uh, you know you got to be able to to flex flex your foot as you walk, and when it comes back like that and the flex, it just was excruciating pain. So anyway, um, so uh, you know still uh, taking my uh, my vitamins and whatnot then uh you know it's another good day so anyway i'll wrap it up with my rant doug's rant for the day airline rant um today's rant is about airport security i won't get into really you know how terrible the tsa is and how wonderful the security feeling is with the transportation security administration at the nation's airports <clears throat> But uh, I will talk about, uh, you know, kind of some reactions, uh, you know, when, when we cut in line. Now, granted, um, as a pilot in uniform, we typically cut in front of everybody uh, in line to get to the uh, scanning machine if there isn't a designated crew line. Some airports have it, some don't. Some, most of the smaller ones do not. Uh, and so, unfortunately, uh, you know, we have to do that. But, um, you know, if a pilot is cutting in line... Um, you know, I, I will say this, nine out of ten times are polite about it. Some people are jerks, to be kind, uh, when they do it. I typically, what happens is, is what I say, excuse me, I get to the front of the line, and when I turn and I look at somebody, I say, you've been randomly selected to be cut in front of. And, you know, usually that's kind of, yeah, I either get the, huh, or the, oh yeah, or, you know, even a chuckle sometimes. But, um... You know, comments about like, hey, what are you doing? Or, you know, I've been standing here all day. You know, stuff like that, eh, that, that's not really needed. You, you know, when you're at the airport, I mean, you're not going to go anywhere without us at the airplane. So, you know, really, those kind of comments, why? I, I don't get it. You know, I mean, if you want to blow off steam... Say it after the crew's gone, but, you know, I mean, do you feel like a bigger person if you do that? You, you just got to, you know, cut some, you know, slam somebody down because, you know, I mean, we go through so much security. Trust me, we do not like security as much. Uh, I mean, as much. We hate security just as much as you do. I mean, the process of it all, not the security itself, but just the process, you know. As as pilots, we go through so many background screenings, so much background checking, and, you know, I mean, so, anyway, um, reassembling your stuff after it goes through the scanner, you know, just, just 
a kind word. Once you got your stuff, you know, try to push it all the way, go down the belt as far as you possibly can. Because unfortunately, nine out of ten times, the yeah, person that's you know, running the, the x ray machine is, um, well, is usually better suited to say, do you want fries with that? Or would you like to upsize for 99 cents? Uh, than uh, actually paying attention to what's going on down the, down the line. You know, I mean, they're focused right there, watching stuff go through the security thing. So, but, uh, uh, you know, just and try to assemble your stuff and try to, you know, get out of the way, you know, because, you know, there are people behind you. So, anyway. And then my final point is the TSA people that are running the belt. If you work for the TSA, if you're watching me, and you work for the TSA at the scanning machine, the, the x-ray machine, maybe, just maybe, you might want to take a quick little glance down the end of the line to see what's going on there. Because, you know what, when you're zipping that stuff through as fast as you can, and those bins, they go, you know, and, and crap falls all over the place, I mean, hello? Didn't you just cause a greater congestion in line? You know, so, hey, if you don't like your job, then get the hell out of it, you know? As a TSA employee with your government benefits and your pay, you make more than a lot of pilots do. A lot of, you know, regional pilots, you know, if pilots that are on a turboprop or a small jet, you know. So, you know, at least act like you have a profession. Anyway, that's my rant. Of course, this does not apply to all TSA people. There is a lot of people at TSA that do their jobs, they take it seriously, and they do as best job as they can. And for those people, hey, the Power 90 Pilot Doug appreciates you. So anyway, that's my rant for today. Cheers. Keep pushing play.